So this is my window after returning home from a weekend holiday. I left the window open, the wind's blown the, blown the window back and damaged the hinge. I'm just going to go about replacing this today and I'm going to go buy some new hinges. The right hinge to buy, you need three measurements to find the right one. You want to see how wide this hinge is. I think my one is at 18. And then you want to check the length, looks like 30, 31 and a half, so that's probably a 12 inch. You can see it's a 12 there, Cotswold 12. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to measure the height, the stack height. Now my one's bent out of shape, so I don't think I can measure it properly. Um, but they'll come in two sizes, either 13 mil or 17 mil. And a lot of hinges these days, they actually come with packers. So you, it come in the size of 13 and then you can pack it up to 17. So I would advise getting those ones if, um, if you want to make your life easier. So I've just got back from Screwfix and I've got my new hinge. So this is a hinge right there. It's a Miller side hung friction hinge. And this one is actually longer than the one I've got currently installed. So the one installed at the moment is 315 millimeters. This one is 414 millimeters. If you don't have the right stack height, it gives you a pack of these adjusters so you can raise the stack height. Also comes with some instructions to help you fit. So if you need to fit in, I've got all the instructions here. But these cost me £12.19 for pack two. I've actually bought two. It's a different length from my original one. I'm um, going to replace both windows.
So I'm just going to go about replacing these hinges. Um, I've replaced the broken hinge already, so I'm going to replace the, the other side now. So that's the window in. So the windows are very heavy, so if you can get someone to help you, that will make it much easier. Right, so I'm just gonna put the new hinge on. Each of the hinges will have a marking on there. So, and it points out where how it opens, so there'll be a little arrow on there, and it tells you it's meant to go this way. So don't ever put it the other way, because that could damage the hinge. So if you put this, pull it out, and then we'll take off the existing one. So because this is a different length hinge, um, only one of the drill uh, screw holes actually matches up, so I'm going to have to drill two new ones. One fitted, I'm just going to do the other side now. Same on the other side, let's drill two new holes. Alright, next part's the tricky part. I'm gonna have to mount this window back on on the frame. That's the window fully fitted. 